The old doctor stood at the heavenly gate. His face was lined and old. He stood before the man of fate for admission to the fold. What have you done, St. Peter said, to gain admission here? I've worked for the National Health Service, sir, for many and many a year. The pearly gates sw swung open wide as St. Peter touched the bell. Come in and take a harp, my dear. You've had your share of hell. <laughs> well, it's not quite like that. It, it was said that working for the National, National Health Service was 364 days of excrement and one day of increment. But considering we haven't had a pay rise for six years, I'm not even sure I can say that anymore. Now, I'm, as you probably gather, a doctor. I'm a surgeon, as you'll hear in a minute. And Voltaire, that famous French philosopher, said the, the purpose of medicine was to amuse while nature took its course. So, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, that's what I'm going to try and do tonight. Now, I'm actually a giblet surgeon, a general surgeon, tripes, lights, sweetbreads, kidneys, and the occasional onion. Um, yes, I do. <laughs> I do get involved with all those things, but my real interest, ladies and gentlemen, is or are hemorrhoids. <laughs> Now, I don't know why there should be this titter of laughter going around the room. After all, I know that half of you are sitting on them at the present time. <laughs> it is said there are two kinds of people in the world, those that admit to hemorrhoids and liars. <laughs> They're incredibly common. And, and I can illustrate this by saying that my body is insured for £10,000, but my right index finger, being a coloproctologist, is insured for a million. And it's said in my field, but if you don't put your finger in at the right moment, you put your foot in it instead, that's for sure. <laughs> now, you probably don't realise that coloproctology is almost the oldest of the medical professions. We know that the pharaoh Sanruset in Upper Egypt in 2000 BC had a doctor for his heart, a doctor for his chest, a doctor for his abdomen, and there was another one, believe it or not, called Keeper of the Royal Anus. I suppose it was a bit like being a postman, the first hour in the day busy and the rest of the day off barring accidents. <laughs> there was, in fact, a Greek Ionian doctor called Soranus, but he was actually a gynecologist. <laughs> so. And I remember, I remember a patient I operated, I, I, did, I used to do a lot of cancer of the rectum and we used to take the rectum out and join the ends together, an operation with, of great risk with lots of complications. I remember Albert was a patient who'd had a lot of trouble, he had an ileostomy, he had this and he'd been in hospital about four weeks, but we got him through it, but he was as weak as a dog and he came back to my outpatients two weeks later and he said, um, uh, uh, he said um, uh, Mr. McDonald, will it be all right if I resume marital relations with Gertrude? And I said, well, Albert, I mean, you, you've been pretty sick and you've still got a long way to go. Maybe you should wait a week or two. But because um, he said, Gertrude won't allow me to have marital relations with her until I've got a written, a written letter from you, Mr. McDonald, saying it's all right. Well, I said, well, let's just wait a little, little while. Anyway, he was lying in bed with Gertrude a few weeks late, later. And he said, Gertrude, can we, can we resume marital relations? Said, I'm not going to do it until you've got a letter, signed letter from Mr. McDonald to say it's all right. So he came back to my clinic about four weeks later and he was completely different. He put weight on, he, you know, he, his nutrition was improving, uh, the sepsis was, was, you know, was disappeared practically and, I, and uh, I was so pleased he, and he asked me again. So I said, of course, Albert. And so I got up my better, best letter headed paper and I said, I said you know, Albert, uh, so and so, sexual relations. And as I was doing it, he put a hand on my shoulder and he said, I hope you don't mind, Mr. McDonald, but, but can you put to whom it may concern on the <laughs> 